Uh, this is T. Patrick Murray with Creative Genius Agency for Tier 10 and Sean Wolfington. This is just a quick overview of some of the things I did for uh, Acura. And uh, what I'm doing here is doing the executive summary by giving you guys an idea of uh, one or two of the spots. If you like the direction I'm going, I have a lot more material. Uh, but this is um, basically just an overview and uh, see if you want more. Okay, at the end of the day, let me just say this before I pitch formally. The spot, I'm going to pitch two spots, and they're going to both um, thematically deal with the same strategy. Uh, as I thought long and hard about how to uh, rebrand uh, Acura as a luxury automobile on par with the competitors of BMW, Mercedes, Lexus, Audi, so forth, um, I realized that um, perhaps the worst thing to do is to do it earnestly or straightforward. Um, you, you can't have a, a great voiceover guy or girl simply uh, force it down people's throats that Acura makes great cars and, and they're luxurious and they're as good as everyone else and, and you should just think that way. I think the only way to do it is um, through uh, either obviously emotion or through uh, witty uh, comedy. So um, that's uh, basically what I'm going to do here. Uh, one's a pretty, uh, tries to be, I think it's pretty witty, and the other pr one is pretty visceral and pretty emotional. So let's try those two approaches, and I think you'll see what my approach is, and just know that the rest of my material goes along these veins as well as many other strategies, but this is my favorite strategy of all. I call it the uh, direct comparison strategy, and uh, here we go. Imagine a simple poker game, a simple poker game with uh, four people. Uh, there is a beautiful woman, uh, you know, a young white man, uh, an older uh, African-American gentleman, and perhaps a uh, middle-aged or much older uh, Hispanic or Asian man. At the end of the day, uh, these four people are playing what looks to be high-stakes poker by the, the way they're dressed, by their mannerism. We know that this is uh, big money poker. They all have jewels and, and great suits and great dresses and all that on them. Um, so basically, we begin the commercial with uh, one of the persons saying, pushing all their chips in, and uh, uh, after all their chips are gone, they reach into their pocket and they say, I see your bet, and I raise you a BMW, and he tosses in to the center of the pot. His key is close up on the BMW keychain fob, uh, you know, uh, the... Uh, the logo. Okay, go to the next person. Pause. That person puts in his chips and says, I see your BMW and I raise you a Mercedes. He tosses his keys into the chip stack and we see that close up of that famous star logo of the Mercedes uh, next now to the BMW keys and all these chips, big mountain of them. It's getting tense. We go to the third person, and he says, I see your BMW and Mercedes, and I raise you a Lexus. And he tosses his key slow-mo in the air, and it poof, splashes the chips, and we see that famous L logo design. And now we got three pairs of keys in there. And it gets to the woman, the beautiful woman there, who looks at her cars, looks at the men, and takes a moment reaches into her $5,000 purse and says, I see your BMW, your Mercedes, and your Lexus, and I raise you an Acura. Tosses her keys. Perhaps that's the one only in slow motion. It hits the pot, and immediately everyone looks stunned, and the first guy says, I fold. Second guy goes, I'm out. Third guy goes, too rich for my blood. And... Uh, that's the end of the commercial. The idea here is this, that we must identify Acura as a luxury brand, not by stating it so, but by showing that it is the perception of the environment within the commercial that it is so, as if we're, someone who's watching the commercial is catching up to this knowledge that, oh, you didn't know that Acura, the new Acura is, uh, is on par with all these guys. I mean, in, in other words, I'm basically saying let's break the fourth wall and say, hey, at Acura, we're not just rebranding, we're rebuilding. We're not just rebranding our identity or our name, we're rebuilding our cars. So we're admitting the rebranding, but we're saying it's 
holistic. It goes not from just image, it goes down deep to the core, to the philosophy. Uh, that, the, that you have one policy now, luxury. Luxury automobiles is all you'll, you do. Now, so I have, I have in many, many, a dozen commercials that go under that line of including uh, that, that all of them comedically, um, which I, I, uh, I, I did it in the Ask for Lexus, Settle for BMW, Ask for Lexus, and that's a series of commercials I can pitch later. I don't want to get into that now. just want to get to the other commercial, which is a more of an emotional way of doing the same thing. Very simple. We have one of the most visceral things in sports is, is the Kentucky Derby, the two minutes of the Kentucky Derby. And uh, here's what it is. We take a racetrack, a real racetrack, and we have uh, yeah, a Mercedes, a BMW, a Lexus, and an, an Acura driving around this like a horse race, okay? Um, you hear the starting gate start, and you have the announcer that does these real races making the call. And in between the real call of this race, which, by the way, Acura is going to be dead last in the B in, in, during the most part of the race, uh, a voiceover announcer intercuts with the horse race announcer and says, the greatest horse ever to run, uh, the greatest thoroughbred ever was Secretariat. And uh, Secretariat never ever, and this is true, never ran in the front. He always ran in the back of the pack and made his move at the end all the time. Look it up if you're not a horse person. So we're going to use that and we're going to say here that Acura had a similar maturation or similar development and with the new Acura uh, they are now focusing exclusively on making the most luxurious automobile in the world which is one of the taglines. Acura. The most luxurious automobiles in the world. But the point is, is that we tied into the visceral nature of the horse race where when they make that last turn for home, and we've explained all this about Secretariat and about the changes at Acura, you have, and the most exciting finish that can possibly happen is this is, is a horse coming from the end and, and winning. So as we have identified Secretariat coming from behind, as we have identified that Acura has changed and, and, and rebranded and rebuilt their cars and they have a new vision for luxury, we have the emotional excitement of cutting into the crowd and cutting into the excited announcer being like, you know, and, you know, with, uh, as they turn for home, it's Mercedes and Lexus neck for neck, followed by closely BMW and a distant fourth is Acura. Um, and at the eighth pole, Acura is surging. And you have in classic, uh, <laughs> you know, cinematography style, you have Acura coming up and taking the inside lane, maybe getting boxed out, making a, a move, and it finally is gaining on everyone, and the announcer is excitedly explaining this, and we get to the, literally the ending, the, the, the photo finish line, and it's Acura by a grill. And it's basically, you know, we, we finish the, the commercial, and, uh, you know, there's so many taglines I have written for that. Um, the thoroughbred of luxury, um, Luxury is bread. Um, th there's there's a number of them, but the point being is that if you combined a racetrack and the Secretariat and the calling the, the caller of a race, and you have an exciting finish where it's cars and not animals, and if it's a photo finish where Acura wins coming from behind, and you have an intercut voiceover person explaining and paralleling. Secretariat and the late changes in maturation and evolution of the Acura brand to where it is now, I think you have an incredible spot. So those are two examples of what I got. Uh, I'm going to finish up here by saying uh, there's a lot of taglines. Um, uh, you know, drive first class, um, Acura driven by desire, uh, Acura settle for nothing less, Acura auto works of art. Acura, luxury rebranded. And then there's ones where I make fun of um, all of the other people's brands. I won't get into that now, but uh, it's like a very sarcastic, witty approach to making fun of the other car makers. Um, it's uh, another thing to mention here is, you know, in rebranding and rebuilding Acura, we analyzed their reality. We tested BMW. We learned lessons from Lexus, and we made friends at, at Mercedes-Benz. And then we went and built the new Acuras. 
designed or redesigned to be refined. The, the idea here is that we, in every commercial, we, 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 we give the competitors their due, but by connecting it to Acura and making Acura uh, appear more valuable to the environment within the commercial, usually in a tongue-in-cheek, very funny way, uh, it will be, I think, um, an incredibly powerful, interesting way to indirectly uh, and subconsciously introduce these ideas into the heads of viewers. This has been 10 minutes. I said I wouldn't go any further than that because I'm not going to waste anyone's time. If you like what you've just heard, I have a lot more to go. Uh, but as I've spoken with Sean, it's not worth it to talk about if this isn't interesting to you because this is some of the best uh, I got in terms of spot ideas. And I've given you a PDF of a couple of pitches and taglines and things, but I have all of the 90% more to go, so let me know if you like it. And the uh, Honda pitches are below, 50 of them. Thank you very much, Tier 10, and Sean, and, and um, David, everyone, and I hope you guys enjoy what you see. And uh, if you want more, I can record the rest after we talk about, hopefully, uh, a working arrangement where I'd love to, to do more work with you guys. Okay, thank you. Bye.